I start my presentation this line. Hazrat Shah Abdul Latif Bidai Rahmatullah Alayhi said that Aage kaya aage hai nisoroi noor Aage kaya aage hai nisoroi noor La khawfun alayhim wala hum jahatanoor Sachanako ne sur Mola ke ma'amur Ang azal me unna jo Isha Adim the glorious Nima from the mighty or a sustainer, maintainer, builder, developer, mighty, majestic, supreme greatness of this whole entire cosmos. Me in front of you, you know me very well, lovely boy, Master Junior Today, I have in the, I have taken the personality for the presentation that Shah Abdullah Latif Vitai, Rahmatullah. First of all, I tell you the introduction of Shah Abdullah Latif Vitai. Shah Latif Bittai was long Likha Walati by his devotees. Wala noticed in the Sufi scholar, mystic saint and poet. He is considered as the greatest poet of Sindhi language. Information about the Shah Latif Bittai has mostly been collected from oral tradition. A renowned Pakistani scholar, educationist and the writer of plays, drama and stories, Mirza Khalid Beg is said to have collected details about the other life of Shah Abdullah Tevitai. From some of the old people living at the time, these people had heard these facts from their fathers and grandfathers, some of whom had seen Shah Abdullah in person and had even spoken, spoken to him as a Sufi poet. Latevus is held at his shrine every year on 14th Safar. This is the second month of Muslim calendar. Thousands of people gather and listen to the sand, sand song and sung on the tamburo. Many learn many rich people that tell, tell about the Latif's life and his poetry. After introduction, I tell you the background and family of Shabdha Latif Bittai. Shabdha Latif and sisters rules lane of Afghanistan. Some students say that Shah's father said Habib Shah migrated from Mathiaru. His ancestral home in Afghanistan to Bhinpur in Sindh. In order to gain spiritual contact below a, a local piazma. But some others say that Shah's, uh, uh, Shah Latif and sisters migrated to Sindh from Herat. Because Sindh was then a center of Muslim culture and Shah Latif and sisters liked so much, so they decided to make it their home. After background family, I tell you the name, the name Bittai. In 1742, the uh, Shah Abdul left his home. He went to live on the mount. He is some distance from his village. A mount is seen is called Bhit in Sindhi. Due to the fact that he lived on the mount for the rest of his life, he came to be uh, known as the saint of Bhit. To this day, he is famous all over the country as Shah Abdul Latif Bittai and Shah Abdul Latif as the Mount. After the name of Bittai, I tell you the other life and education of Shah Abdul Latif Bittai. Shah Abdul Latif Bittai was born in 1689 AD or 14 Safar, 1100 true, age, Hijri in the Simal village called Hadai Valley. Few of the miles to the east of the prison, town of Petisha. Shah Abdul ran during the golden age of Sindhi culture. His first teacher was Akun Nur Muhammad Bhatti, but mainly he was self-educated. Although he received the letter from education. And Risalo provides proof that he knew the Arabic and Persian quite well. Various references uh, in Shah Risalo indicate that he had in depth of knowledge of the Holy Quran and Hadith. His poetic collection include the Maulana Jalaluddin Rumi and Shah Karim's poem. After early life and education, now I tell you the youth of Shah Abdul Latif Bittai. Lal Latif has a very sensitive mind. While he was only a boy, he started composing poetry. His admiration for the beauty of nature. His feel hurt with the love of God. In 1730, 
Sufi poet married with Bibi Seda Begum. His wife died at an early age before he could have any children. However, he married again. His heart turned more and more grew the uh, religion and devotion. He felt restless. He found it difficult to live a normal domestic life. After youth, I tell you the spiritual growth of Shab Abdul Latif Vitai. Lal Latif's love of God grew more and more. To the extent that he found the prayers only in devotion. As a result, he spent most of his time in the prayers and deep thinking. His spiritual power grew stronger with the prayers and devotion. Anyone be, uh, so much so began uh, that people began to be attracted towards him. Anyone who came to him was strongly impressed by his gentle ways. And his followers increased day by day. And Shah Abdul Latif died in 1752 on the mound where he had lived. A famous king of Sindh, Gulam Shakalodo, built his shrine because he was so devoted of Shah Abdul Latif Vitai. I end my presentation these lines that Hazrat Shah Abdul Latif Vitai said that Mandra Piyan Emu Sajan Sahi Sunyato Pi Pyalo Ishq Jo Sabke Samjo Soon Priya Sandhi Paar Ji Andar Aag Athun Jiyan Nahi Jag Me Dihen Minai Doon Allah Abdul Latif Chai Ahi Tuhi 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 Tuhi